I met Brian at uh, one of the wood shows, and he has these amazing um, fire or uh, what do you call it? Uh, skin on frame. Skin on frame boats. They're amazingly light. They're tough as nails, and they're really easy to build. And I thought it would be fun to come and have a visit and see some of these boats and have a talk with Brian and see how these boats are built. So Brian, it, it looks like this is the beginning of another boat that you're building here. Um, and this is the, the material. Tell us a little bit about it. looks like it's tied together with a, some kind of a twine or something. What, tell us a little bit about how you build this. Actually, we're, this, this one is pretty close to the end. Um, and, and yes, it's, uh, what, what I've got here is I've got a frame of yellow cedar, which is this stuff. And I, the floors that are here are red cedar, and in this in this particular boat, I've got I'm putting the in whales, the gunwales, uh, building. I'm making them out of fur. Uh, it's lashed together with with um, it's a wax nylon. It's called artificial sinew. It's incredibly tough stuff. I mean, I, I there's no way I can break. No way I can break it. So this is this this is the lashing right here, and it's a wax. Like I said, it's a wax nylon, and and it's. Uh, I was told it was 200 pound test. I'm not sure. I'm more likely to give it a 100 pound test. But, but basically, it means that this piece of this rib here is lashed onto the, uh, of the floor is lashed onto the rib with 400 pounds of strength, which is much much stronger than it would be if it were nailed oh. or glued. Oh. Because only the surface areas would be glued, and the nail has has a shear strength of 150 pounds. So this is much stronger. So what's the benefit of having this artificial sinew um, that lashes the boat together? Basically, um, it's a real easy way of building a boat, and it's a real tough way of building a boat. And on top of that, the boat uh, remains flexible. It's like a gazelle in the water. Um, if you see um, shots of the boat floating, it's, it, it's a part of the water. It's not a stranger to it. It's not uh, forcing the water to do what it wants. It's just enjoying where it is. So Brian, I'm pretty impressed with this whole boat. How do you, do you supply these boats? You build these boats for people or do you sell plans or boats or material? How does that work? Well here at, at Dreamcatcher Boats you can build your own boat with me. Um, you can just buy a boat ready-made. Um, you can buy the entire, the kit for the entire boat, everything but the wood, it comes in a little bag like that, and you have everything you need to build a boat except for the wood, because if you happen to be in Tasmania, yeah. um, you're not likely to want me to ship you 16 foot pieces of lumber, right? right but but right. you've got plenty of wood where you are. But if I lived in Tasmania, can you, if I, could you just sell me the plans, for example? Absolutely, you can, you can uh, download the video and the plans from from the website on the net, dreamcatcherboats.com. Wow. So I, I wonder about this skin material. You tell me, let's uh, have a look at a boat with a skin on. I know you've got one over here, but just tell me a little bit about this material that you're putting on. You said that was, uh, well, tell me about the skin. Well, like I said, it's ballistic nylon. They make bulletproof vests and flak oh. jackets out of it. Um, you can't hurt the stuff. You just can't hurt the stuff. Um, uh, barnacles, uh, oysters, dogs, cats, sticks, kids. I've hit everything. Gravel, mud, sand. So you can drag this boat up on a rocky beach and you don't have to worry about it puncturing? Absolutely not. No. Wow. And, and on top of that, it's, it's ripstop. So even if you do manage to put a hole in it, which is not likely, I haven't seen it happen yet. I've been, doing, I've been using this stuff for 15 years. Wow. Right? Even if you did manage to put a hole in this thing, you would never be able to pull it apart no. anymore. So oh. you know, if you're worried about it, I used to, for the first couple of years, I used to bring duct tape along with me and I went paddling. But for many years now, I haven't. You don't even do that now, I bet. Forgot, I just don't even think about it. Wow. I'm just glad to jump in the boat and take off. <laughs> you know, away we go, and then life is good. Yeah.
able to work with Brian, who's not only a great designer and a great craftsman, but he's also a great teacher. And it's been a wonderful experience for me to learn as I go and to feel the confidence build and to see creating a stunning work of art that I will be proud to put on the water. In fact, I wondered whether I want to keep it in my living room, but I will put it on the water, hopefully, sooner than later.